Alright, most likely or not, you've heard of Wii Sports Resort. You know, the game with 15 different sports that you can play as these cartoony figures. Yeah, that one. Now, if you've ever played it, you'll probably agree that one of the most iconic and memorable mini-games was Swordplay, more specifically, Showdown. Showdown was a variation of Swordplay where basically, instead of fighting one me, you'd fight an entire battalion. Now, one of the things that you'll probably notice while playing it is that different Miis have different colors and variations of armor. Now, most people think that the color of the Miis armor just means how much health they have, but there's actually a lot more to it, and that is what I'll be explaining. And before I tell you about this, if you're new around here, I am the Wii Guy, and if you like this video and content like it, consider subscribing. I am a small YouTuber trying to grow, and it really helps. But anyway, let the video begin. <laughs> Mies that wear green armor are the most basic and common of them all. Believe it or not, they can actually block for a short period, though it is very uncommon. When they get near you, it takes them a while for them to attack and they only have a Mies with one heart, making them not a threat. They usually spawn in groups. These guys appear in stages 1 through 9 and 17 through 19. Mies that wear gold still only have one heart and are pretty easy to beat at first, defending themselves and taking a while to attack. It's not until the reverse stages when these guys become a threat. Once you're in the reverse stages, these Mies essentially replace green armor Mies. They get a lot more aggressive being able to attack a lot more frequently and even being able to attack twice in a row. Some of them can even behave similarly to bosses by attacking the player accurately as soon as possible. These guys appear in stages 1 through 6 and 9 through 20. Mies that wear red are a bit more stronger than the green and gold armor Mies, having two hearts. They are mainly defensive, but they don't change the direction of their defense that often, making them an easy target to quickly strike. They usually only attack after a successful block. Their attacks are a lot faster than the gold armor Mies, and some of them make circles of their sword before striking. These guys appear in stages 2 through 7, 9, 11, 14 through 17, and 20. Mies that wear purple armor are pretty much identical to Mies that wear red armor. Their only difference is that they'll change the direction of their defense a lot more often, making them harder to hit. They also, for some reason, have thicker knee pads than the red armor Mies. These guys appear in stages 6 through 12, 14 through 16, 18, and 19. Mies that wear this variation of purple armor have thinner knee pads and slimmer armor. They have three different styles of armor. They can spawn having thin, lanky, or slim armor. They have varying movesets and behaviors, making some much harder to defeat than others. Their three movesets are a defensive moveset, like the normal purple armor Mies, a twirling moveset, where they spin their sword, and a very aggressive moveset, similar to some of the final bosses. These guys can appear in stages 12, 14, and 16 through 20. Mies that wear black armor sometimes aren't actually bosses, but they'll act just like one. You can tell if they're a boss based off their sword color. If their sword color is purple, they are a boss, but if it is red, they are not. These guys have varying levels of aggression, being defensive in stages 10 through 13, aggressive in stages 12 through 20, and being both aggressive and defensive in stages 18 through 20. Some of them do twirl their swords before attacking, but it is rare. They have three hearts and can appear normal size or boss size. They can appear having lanky, small, thin, or bulky armor. There is also an obese variant of armor, but it is reserved for bosses. These guys appear in stages 10, 12 through 14, and 17 through 20. Matt is the final boss of Showdown, and he is the toughest by far. He has three hearts and is much bigger than any other enemy. He is very difficult because he is super quick to attack and counterattack. He is mainly defensive, but he attacks very often. He has a similar moveset to the very strong gold armor reads, but he is twice as fast. His hitbox is the biggest in the game, making him a little more easier to hit. Matt appears in stage 20, and once you beat him, you win. If you like my video and content like it and want to see more, then consider subscribing. I'm going to try to upload a video similar to this every week. This is the Wii Guy signing off.